Hey there, what's going on guys? Today let's check out 5 village seeds for Minecraft Java 1.15 versions. I'm recording this video in 1.15.2. All of the seeds in this video were first discovered by myself and feature villages within a close distance to your spawn location. I'll also show you some other points of interest within the seeds as well during the video. All coordinates for locations that I show in this video will be posted as a blog on my website, so check that out for easy access to all of the coordinates. Alright, let's get started. I want to start off with a seed that has a village that partly generates inside of a sunflower plains biome. The village itself stretches quite a far distance. There are certainly plenty of buildings here for you to explore, and there are two farms here too. The village generates with some little exposed caves poking around, and one of them has a tree down in it. Some of the buildings here include the tannery building with loot and the church building with a brewing stand. As for the sunflower plains, you can see some of the sunflowers around these two small buildings. Of course, all Minecraft sunflowers point east, and east leads you right to a shattered savanna biome. Look how massive this is. When I look up, I barely see the outline of the trees at the top. You know, just some crazy terrain here. This terrain here even kind of looks like a little bit of a heart shape. I just really love these biomes. Very close to the spawn underground, you can find a mine shaft that actually leads right to a zombie spawner. Of course, you get the loot from the chests here, and there are two of them. And you can use the spawner to create a zombie farm for all of the zombie resources. And I mean, you can also explore the mine shaft too. Traveling out further in this seed will eventually bring you to a savanna village. This village actually generates on the edge of a savanna plateau, which creates an interesting look to this village. This building here generates partly covered by the terrain, and traveling out even further will bring you to another village. This one has some crazy terrain too, with the village generating partly on a hill in the forest. There is a blacksmith in this village, which gives you that sweet, sweet blacksmith loot. Underneath this village is actually the stronghold for this seed, which is pretty awesome. I have given you the coordinates to the portal room for this stronghold. This portal room actually generates connected to a zombie spawner. I mean, I think that's the first time I've ever seen that happen. But yeah, this seed offers you that village at spawn that partly generates inside of a sunflower plains biome, which is definitely an awesome find. Next, I want to share a seed that has a taiga village right at your spawn location. Actually, the village also partly generates in a small bit of plains village that generates near the taiga, and this little bit generates within a very small flower forest biome. Making this village even better is the fact that it is a blacksmith village, so go ahead and start your world with that loot. The village also generates near this river, which creates some great building opportunities, but it also leads you right to a pretty big mountain. Underneath the taiga biome at spawn, you can find a mine shaft for you to explore. There are actually two cave spider spawners that are right next to each other. I have provided the coordinates to them if you want to check out that for yourself. You definitely need to be careful here though. That's a lot of spiders. Traveling out further in this seed will bring you to another taiga village. This one is definitely very much embedded in the taiga biome with all of the buildings surrounded by those spruce trees. There is a nice big cave opening at the northern end of this village. That village is really just a stopping point on the way to our final location though, which is a woodland mansion. The coordinates I've provided are to the entrance of the mansion. This mansion generates on the edge of a lake, and much of the building is surrounded by dark forest hills, which looks pretty awesome. It makes the terrain generate pretty high up on the mansion. When you look out some of the windows on the middle floor, all you see is stone. There are 9 rooms on the top floor of the mansion to put into perspective just how big it is. And that concludes the last location of this seed, which started off with a blacksmith taiga village at spawn. Now I want to share with you a seed that has two snow villages right near each other close to the spawn location. You spawn in a plains biome and right next to you is a snowy taiga biome. Just to the east of you is a snowy tundra village. 
These snow villages have wood buildings, snow buildings, ice buildings, and snow ice buildings. As you know if you have watched some of my previous videos. This village definitely isn't the biggest village that we've seen, but it's here for you to check out. Continuing east will bring you to another village. This village has some more interesting terrain generation than the previous one. This village also isn't very big, but it does certainly have some better buildings to check out. A couple of the buildings are the cartographer building and the blacksmith building. Underneath this village is a mine shaft, something that seems to be a bit of a trend in this video it seems. And this mine shaft even leads to a zombie spawner like we saw earlier. I won't explain why this is so great to have so I don't repeat myself, but just know that it is here for you. You can find another snow village a bit further out in this sea too. This village generates right on the edge of a snowy mountains biome. This creates a really cool looking natural barrier for the village that you can actually kind of expand with a wall around the village, you know, as a possible build idea. If you want to travel even further out, you can find an igloo. If you break this piece of carpet, you can find a trap door with a ladder that leads down to a zombie villager transformation dungeon. If you never knew about this or haven't ever seen this, I think you should definitely check it out just uh, one time. This igloo actually generates right next to a pillager outpost. There is some loot at the top of the outpost if you can get to it without dying from the pillagers. And this outpost generates with a log pile. So we saw a bunch of different snowy biome locations in this seed, including two villages right nearby each other. Next up, let's look at the seed that spawns you right inside of a desert village. Actually, my game spawned me on top of one of the buildings. The desert village is actually a blacksmith village, which is always fantastic. Be sure to grab the loot right away so you do not forget. To go along with the blacksmith, there are more buildings with loot, and there are two cartographer buildings. Underground nearby the spawn village, there is a nice big ravine, which I normally wouldn't show you. Underground ravines are great, but there are so many of them that I don't feel it's necessary to show you. But this one leads right to a zombie spawner. The spawner has two chests, and I think the ravine being here actually makes it a bit easier for you to build a zombie farm if you want to. If you travel southeast in the desert, you can eventually get to a desert temple. In the comments, let me know which piece of loot that you get from here is your favorite. Also, be careful not to blow yourself up with the TNT. Off the northeast coast of the desert biome, you can find a frozen ocean with icebergs. These icebergs are just some of my favorite things to find in Minecraft, so I like to show you them from time to time. I think they just look really cool. This frozen ocean is right nearby where the stronghold is in this seed. As usual, I have given you the coordinates to the portal room here. This portal room actually has a couple of entrances, which doesn't usually happen, so that was really interesting to see. But yeah, if you are looking for a desert village, this may be the seed for you to check out. To finish off, the final seed I want to share with you today spawns you right between two villages. You spawn inside of a plains biome, which is right next to a small forest biome, a jungle, and a roofed forest. Both of the villages generate on the edge of the jungle biome. This is the first one. The well in this village generates on top of a small hill in the middle of the village. The village has this church with a brewing stand, and right next to it is this building with a stone cutter. Underneath the village is once again a mine shaft. The coordinates I've provided to the mine shaft are to this pretty awesome looking place. It's right near a couple of cave spider spawners too. This is the other village that you spawn between. I would actually consider this one to be a jungle village. You get a couple of the buildings generating inside of the jungle, and this one very much surrounded by jungle trees. This building generating in the jungle edge biome on the hill looks pretty cool perched up here. The generation of the stonecutter building looks pretty cool too. Inside of the jungle, you can of course find a jungle temple. This temple generates right on the edge of a river. It's embedded right into a hill. Make sure to check out the two chests inside of the temple because they often contain some very great loot. Finally, there is also a mesa biome not too far away from spawn in this seed. In fact, it's actually right next to the jungle biome. There's definitely a clash between the two biomes here with the river in the middle of it, and even between three biomes because of the swamp nearby too. 
The Mesa itself is a pretty darn big biome for you to collect terracotta or explore the mine shafts, or I mean, even building here too. So this seed gives you two villages right near your spawn location, including a village that generates partly inside of a jungle biome. So there you have five village seeds that are working in Minecraft Java 1.15 versions. Again, I recorded this video in 1.15.2. Let me know which one of the seeds in this video was your favorite. Also, if you have found any more village seeds or just seeds you think people may like, definitely share the seed ID code so people can check it out and tell us all about the seed too. Let us know why we should try it out. I will definitely have more seed videos coming out in the future, but feel free to check out my other seed videos that I have created in the meantime too. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you will be notified when new videos are released on my channel. But that is going to do it for me guys, thank you so much for watching, I'm out of here, see ya.